What's the second question? Okay, so you sort of alluded to it in the, the links uh, here. You know, some are saying that, you know, the texts, all of the texts where they, they were prepared for council and, you know, everyone knew about them, they were well known. And since they have been, you know, drafting and preparing them for, for years, even decades, right? Like, is that is that true or is it not true? Yeah, that's, that's part of the, the, the problem here is that we don't, we're not paying attention to how these texts came about and when they came about. Now, some of the texts have been, have been prepared and not seen much change at all. But what, the one text that's very controversial and people are against, the one I was talking about earlier, the relations of the uh, Orthodox Church of the Christian world, and there's a lot of opposition to this text, this text was essentially drafted in October of last year. In other words, there, there, this text is a result of two different texts that were merged together, and then there were additions and changes made to it. So it's a totally new text that the churches had not read or seen. And that happened in October. Here's the amazing part about this story. That text was not made public until January, until the primates had signed the text and had signed that they were going to go to the council. Then the text became public, and then all this opposition came and said, this is, these are not orthodox texts, or at least this text is not orthodox. This is one dealing with the heterodox. So essentially, we're dealing with a text that became public only a few months ago. And the synods of the churches are saying, wait a minute, this text is not orthodox. The idea that these have been planned for decades, and it's not true in terms of this particular text, which is the real controversial one. So, uh, and, and these texts, the amazing part about it is these texts wouldn't have even been made public if certain churches hadn't insisted on them being made public at the January meeting. Uh, and so we have, um, the central problem here is that some people are not respecting the nature of the church. They're not wanting, for whatever reason, the faithful, the theologians, the monks, the bishops, the rest of the bishops who are not a part of this process, because there's very few people a part of this process. It's a small group of representatives who've been making all these decisions over the years, with sometimes with synodical approval, sometimes without. Uh, and so, for some reason, some people don't want these to become known to the faithful, for them to think, write, react to them, and for this discussion to happen. They want to have the council and the text to be approved and, and, and without a lot of discussion. And so what happened was there immediately arose a great opposition because the text was not made public and people didn't know about it. And some of the churches decided that the, on this basis, we're not going to the council because we don't agree with this text. 